Good afternoon, my name is Beth. Welcome to Watercolor Painting in the Afternoon. Today I'm doing another Meditative Monday because, I don't know, I'm a little depressed today. We're gonna have cold weather again. We've been having this bright, warm, spring-like weather and now all of a sudden it's gonna get cold again. And I'm pretty ticked off and I don't want it to. But uh, yeah, it's gonna do it anyway, whether I like it or not. So I'm just going to paint some things that make me think of, of spring. And this is meditative for me. This is just some burnt sienna right here. Burnt sienna, which has a pretty red, <clears throat> reddish kind of golden color. And I think to that I will add a little of whatever red this is, because I, I never did have a name for it. It's just a part of a set that kind of broke off of the, um, <clears throat> of its little palette. And so now see that makes this pretty bright red, almost a vermilion red color. And I think I'm going to paint some geraniums because geraniums are just pretty. And I'm not going to worry too much about whether or not they look perfect. It's a small illustration of a geranium. Geraniums, of course, they come in these little bundles, these little round, circular bundles of bright red flowers. And they're really very beautiful. Very, very easy to grow, easy to propagate as well. Just maybe a few right back in there. And take some green, some very lively green. Let's make some lively green right here. I don't want it to be too light, so I'm not going to add a lot of yellow to it, but I do want to lighten it up a little bit. That might be too light. Hold on. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. All right, and then I'm going to just pull this down, and yes, it is going to mingle a little bit because the paint's still wet. And I'm kind of deciding as I go along that there might be some other places where I put some flower heads. But for now, I'm just going to let these be the stems that go into the flowers. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of my green and start making some leaves. They have big, broad kind of, <clears throat> kind of leaves that, uh, they have a specific shape. But, you know, I don't want to be that, I don't want to be that purposeful. I just want to sort of put it in here so that people know what it is. In fact, nobody has to know what it is. I need to know what it is, and that's it. Because this isn't going up on a wall. This isn't going to be any part of anybody's anything. It's just me doodling. I don't know if you get relaxation out of this or not, but I certainly do. I love the way so the green is kind of sneaking up into that red. I like that. Just sneaking its way in. Add a little bit of darker color down here. And maybe some more stems, maybe another leaf. Okay. Well, that looks nice. You can kind of see what it is there. Then I'm going to take some more of this burnt sienna and maybe add to it, what, I don't know, <clears throat> a little bit of uh, burnt umber. A little burnt umber right there. I didn't activate this first, which was probably a bad idea. Now that makes kind of a terracotta that I really like. That's going to be a pot for this plant. This plant's a potted plant. I really like that. Bring it down this way. And you know, maybe there's a little bit of a highlight right there. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Again, that's just a doodle. Okay, and then maybe there's a little bit of a pot on the other side. I would like to see some darker leaves back in here, maybe. OK, 
Okay, I like that just fine. So there you go. First, first doodle. I may come back to it in a little bit and do something else. I don't know. We'll see. But another thing that we're likely to lose this week because we're going to have freezing temperatures in South Carolina, which I hate. And I don't, it's not that I hate freezing temperatures, it's that everything's bloomed and I'm afraid it's going to, it's going to get it. You know what I mean? It's going to get, uh, it's going to get killed and it's going to turn brown and it's going to be gross looking. So, here we go. I'm going to do some wisteria. We have wisteria blooming everywhere. And I'm just doing, they almost look like grapes, you know? Um... So I'm just doing this wisteria coming up on the vine. And they, they really do almost look like grapes. Okay, let's see. Maybe I have other wisteria. Maybe there's another clump right here. Look at that. A little clumpier. They're so pretty. They, they, um, they will really just take over, though. The vine itself will really take over, and it's only pretty for a little while. Then it's just a big old vine. So a lot of people fight the wisteria. They don't want it. I'm going to take a sap green for that, because I think right now it's all a very, very pretty sappy green. And we'll come, we'll bring the branch down this way, or the, excuse me, the vine down this way, down this way. And, you know, it's going to have some little twirly gigs. And some little leaves. And maybe down here, a little bit of green coming off the end of the wisteria. Just like that. It's kind of pretty. It does look a little bit like grapes though. Well, I know the difference, so that's what matters to me right now. I know the difference. Maybe a little bit of this white gouache, which is hardened in my palette, could be used to lighten up some of that purple because, you know, one thing that I like to do is give flowers and leaves more than one shade of, of its color. So, like, trees don't, should never be just one green. Trees should be several shades of green. You can, at least three, I think. Um, you know, a dark shadowy green, a medium green, and a light green that's in the sun, I really like to use three of them, at least. And of course, you know, because paints get mixed in with one another, you're going to have more than just three, but yeah, I just kind of like that. And I'll give you an example here. We'll do a, um, let's do a cherry blossom tree or something like that. Maybe it's peach blossom or cherry blossom, it doesn't matter. Either one is pink. And so we're going to start out with kind of a watery mix of pink. And this, of course, is most watercolor artists will tell you not to add white with your watercolors, you know. Um, allow them to be, allow the water to lighten the color. And that's fine. You can do it that way. Um, but you can also do it any way you want to do it. If you like to add a little gouache to it, Add a little gouache, it's okay, to your painting. Now here comes a medium color, and yeah, it's going to touch into that lighter color a little bit. And it's going to make a, it's going to blend in and make a little bit of a, um, a blended color, you know, like I said, a sort of a tertiary color, third color. Now let's get a really dark mix. And we're going to come down here where it's darkest, where the sun's not hitting, right? You can even, if you want to, you can even add just a bit of brown to it 
in order to um, you know give it that depth of shading then I'm going to come down here with a little bit more of the sepia pull my tree trunk down and maybe come over here with it I don't really know how cherry trees and um, these kinds of things are shaped I would have to look that up and I'm kind of being lazy today and not wanting to do that because it's Meditation Monday and I'm just meditating here I'm just thinking I'm just playing with my watercolors so that makes a pretty cherry tree Maybe there's a little branch right there that doesn't have anything on it you can also add a bit of green um, you probably at this point need to let that dry for a minute but you could add no, maybe not let's see what happens you can add a little bit of green in there especially on the lower branches and just here and there a little bit because maybe it's beginning to leaf out as well isn't that pretty I like the way that worked out so yeah let's add some green in there okay hey you know what I think that's it I just wanted to do a few doodles I hope you enjoy um, just messing around with your watercolor every now and then you know you can do all kinds of things with it that are relaxing and fun and enjoyable and you don't have to answer to anybody because it's not going anywhere at any rate I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you will Paint your own spring doodles. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.